get to you, get to you, baby Every time I find my way, I find my way to get to you, get to you, baby Finding my way to you, baby Find morning my may babies and welcome back to another banger baby so i'm not on a thousand this morning you guys because it's actually like almost seven in the morning honestly miss three bay is looking at me film this vlog good morning miss three bay and as you guys can see i just washed my hair and i just took a bath i did some self-care this morning we're beginning 2023 with self-care okay so we're just taking care of ourselves and getting ourselves ready to defeat the day today i'm conquering taping extensions y'all so if you guys watch my podcast podcast episode three my latest podcast that i've posted on my patreon make sure you guys go subscribe to my patreon y'all would see that my girl jay recommended some taping extensions so i ordered these off amazon i'll make sure that i link these products down in the description box below this is my first time trying tape things y'all know i do not like to spend money so if i had to figure it out by myself and save some coin baby i will because one thing that i know i can do is my own hair and i got it a little bit long because your girl is trying to do the healthy hair journey and my hair is growing as y'all can see it's been growing since the last time that i had my little hair update i've never tried hair extensions and hopefully this helps in helping growing and strengthening my hair one pack comes with 20 pieces of hair and i got the 26 inch 24 inches and 22 inches of tape here i got three bundles because it seemed like when i take it out i'm gonna show y'all how thin it looks like it looks thin and i got thick ass hair so i was just like let me get three of these and y'all these are not cheap for one of them it was like 70 dollars get off my dick for the longest one it was like 70 dollars let me see which one is the longest one but they're good quality hair extensions this is my first time trying it out and this is how long the longest bundle is this is 26 inches of hair and y'all i'm 5 7 so this is gonna stop right here and it feels so good. It's really good quality hair. I'm just excited to put this in, you guys. I watched so many YouTube videos while I was taking a bath this morning to see which is the best procedure. And I'm gonna use Deeper Than Hair TV's video because she's like an actual professional. And I'm gonna use her little techniques of putting these tape in. So yeah, you guys, I'm about to do my makeup, prep my hair, which means I'm gonna put some pea protectant in and I'm gonna blow dry my hair, flat iron it, and then prep my hair so I could just add the tape in. So I'll show you guys the process of how I do these tape ins. If you guys like this video make sure you guys thumbs up go smash that subscribe button join the my baby family oh and smash that notification bell so you know whenever i make a new post and go join my patreon i have new podcasts every single week so make sure you guys join that because you guys don't want to miss the exclusive content and let's go ahead and get into this video hey my babies it's been a while since i did a voiceover but i got to show y'all how i slay these taping extensions of course, starting off with freshly washed hair, I begin to start my blow drying process using my Revlon blow dryer under very low heat because my hair is not really that wet. It's more so damp and I'm using my Denman brush to easily go through my hair without any breakage. Y'all know I'm trying to grow my hair so nobody got time for no split ends. I know many of you might ask, why do you have to prep your hair for these tape-ins? And it's more easier for you to apply these tape-ins if you have your hair straightened. I'll demonstrate later on the video exactly where the tape-ins are applied on your hair, but you wanna make sure that your roots are as flat as possible. You wanna make sure that your roots are fully flat before you apply these tape-in extensions so they can really look seamless. Okay, my baby, so I'm back. And as you guys can see, I just flat ironed my hair. I know I'm probably going to do for the rest of this video a little voiceover of how I'm going to install this because I'm doing all this by myself. I have my man here. He's probably going to assist me a little bit, but for the most part, I'm going to be doing this install by myself. But I just recently got a trim on my hair. This is how my hair is. This is the hair length check right here. This is the before. I have to part my hair in like this funky way, like this way, because... I've been doing my own sew-ins for years. I've never really went to a stylist to actually get my hair done. Long story short, when I was taking out my sew-in, I used an eyebrow razor and I cut off my edges. So yeah, she's still trying to grow back. So for the meantime, we're gonna have this funky part. And I have my taping extensions, my first set of taping extensions right here. These, how the three bundles look together. Hopefully this is gonna be enough because 
three 20 pieces like it comes in 20 pieces these are how they look i'm gonna start with the longest bundle first of course which is the 26 inches i'm so ready to put in this hair it comes in 20 pieces so i got some scissors and i'm gonna cut this little thing off and from what i've read and what i saw from videos what i'm gonna do is i'm going to section off my perimeter and i'm gonna braid my perimeter so it's not getting confused with any of the parts of the taping so that's what i'm about to do right now <sighs> okay <laughs> i think i'm going to do it like this and they said a way so you could test if you can see your tapings is put something right here and if you can see it through it that means you need more hair so i'm gonna get a little bit more hair than this probably not that much right there this is about how much leave out i'll leave out the bare minimum put a comb or something your pigtail comb and if you can't see that comb then you're good i'm gonna use this little section and continue to section off my perimeter and i'll check it back with you guys and show you the steps of how i do these tapings okay my babies i am back with the voice over and as you guys know as i previously stated i am sectioning off my perimeter and i'm braiding out these perimeter parts of my hair because these are the parts that would not be used to attach the tape on extensions this hair is left out to cover any tape on extensions that you might want to cover up so you can do versatile looks such as the half up half down ponytail or any type of look you're going for without seeing your tracks from your tape on extensions so looking back a few things that i would have changed before recording this tutorial quick side note i did not feel like braiding the rest of my perimeter so i just put in this ugly little twist so please ignore this little baby twist i got in my head <laughs> Now that we're past that, let's go ahead and get into the fact that as you guys can see, I have naturally light brown hair and my ass done ordered jet black hair extensions. So that's definitely something that I wish I would have thought about before I made this video. But so that you guys don't make the same mistake, make sure you guys get tape and extensions that is close to or the exact same color as your natural hair color. So right now I'm parting out the back of my head for my perimeter to hide my tracks. So right here, clearly it's way too much hair that I left out. I couldn't see the back of my head, so I don't 100% blame myself for this. I really wanted to mention this so you guys do not make the same mistake. Make sure you think bare minimum when it comes to that perimeter. So I parted off a small section of my hair to add my first tape and extension. So as you guys can see, they come with these adhesive stickers and I just peeled the paper off and I kind of sandwiched them when I apply them. But I'll explain that more in detail in a second. So to prep this hair, I just flat iron the track. I see in the video that when you part your first part you're supposed to apply the first tape in underneath your section of hair first and then put the other one on top so that's what I'm doing I'm just going to put that first tape in on the bottom and then unpeel that and then put that second tape in on top I make sure that I repeat this process all over my head I flat iron the track and I put the first tape in on the bottom, the second tape in on top, kind of sandwich it within my natural hair and then just move on to the next part. I learned through trial and error that you want to work with smaller sections and as soon as you put down that sandwich, make sure you use your flat iron to really seal in that adhesive so your tapings don't slip out because I had some issues shortly after making this video trying to dance. I'm so glad I did not go to a dance class after I made this video because that would have been in embarrassing if my tape ends would have fell out so make sure you guys use a flat iron to really seal in that adhesive to your hair so at this point i was getting kind of excited may babies as you guys can see by my face i loved how it was turning out how long it was i really loved the length i really liked how lightweight it was on my head i was expecting since you know the adhesive is really technically pulling at your hair strands it is surprisingly very lightweight on your scalp so it's not pulling or it's not I bring tension to your scalp. I also want to note when you're applying the tape ends to make sure that you're applying it exactly next to each other so there's not any gaps in the tape and extensions because you will see your natural hair through. Especially if you have a different hair color than your actual tape extensions like I accidentally do. So I know a lot of you guys are going to ask me why did I get these tape and extensions. So I really wanted to try something new. I really know how to do everything. Sew-ins, kind of with 
wig installations, but I hate wigs. And I really found that I like clip ins the best, so I wanted to try these tape ins for a more longer look. And I wanted to try them out to see how it's gonna work, especially with my hair texture and the way my hair sweats out. So let's see how this works, because I know that you have to have your hair straightened all the time with tape ins, and my roots do not stay straight because I'm a bath girl. I like to take baths every day, so every time I take a bath, I sweat out my roots. So I would say just because I previously recorded this video and I learned after I made this video, I would definitely recommend if your hair is not heat trained like me, I would not recommend that you get tape in extensions. Tape ins is really for the heat trained girlies. And for those who don't know what heat train means, that means your hair naturally stays straight no matter what weather conditions. If your hair doesn't frizz up, it just stays straight and it's trained to stay straight. Now for those who have naturally curly hair like I do, your hair is not heat trained so I would recommend more so clip-ins for those who do not have heat trained hair. So now we get to the big question of the video which is do tape-ins damage your natural hair? Tape-ins usually last four to six weeks and the only time that you really get damaged is if you do not know how to remove them. I'll link the spray that I use to remove these tape-ins down in the description box. It's pretty easy but overall it was an easy process. <sighs> Okay, my babies. <laughs> my camera died and I just had to finish doing this. So here is the outcome. I actually love these extensions. This is how the front looks, the side, and this is how the back looks. It's so full, y'all. Like, I love it. I did like a little loose curl and then you guys it's so versatile. I'm gonna love these tape-ins cause I can do so much with it. Like I could put it half up, half down. I could put it in a cute little pony. I can just do so much stuff with it. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys thumbs up. Go smash that notification bell and join the My Baby family. And smash that subscribe button. Happy New Year, my babies. I am hope to have more beauty, fashion, and just lifestyle content for you guys this year. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will catch you in the next Banger Baby.